very tight uh, time limit. So, but firstly, I want to welcome you all and thank you all today for coming and taking part in this very unique, special service of remembrance. My name is Trudy Birch. I'm from the Royal Naval Association. We have members of the Royal British Legion and the Royal British Legion Women's Section. We also have the Mercian Regiment here as well, so uh, as well as honoured guests. And they've all come to see you pay your respects. So without further ado, we'll pass you to the high school. Remembrance Day takes place on the second Sunday of November or the Sunday nearest the 11th of November. This is to commemorate the First World War, which ended at the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month, 1918, 11 o'clock on the 11th of November, 1918. The 11th of November is known as Armistice Day. This is when all the countries involved in the First World War agreed to stop fighting. The First World War was then known as the Great War and marked by marked the beginning of the use of modern technology in warfare and led to approximately 37 million deaths. It felt like that the dead people should be honoured by King George V in two minutes at exactly 11 o'clock to commemorate those who had died for their country. Remembrance Day is also known as Poppy Day. Poppy seeds which have lain dormant for many years in the battlefields in northern France bloomed with vigour after Earth was disturbed and became a symbol of new life and loss. A Canadian doctor called John McRae, who was involved in the war, wrote a poem entitled In Flanders Fields, which served as the inspiration for people to wear artificial poppies as a sign of remembrance. BE, Victory in Europe, day marks the end of the Second World War in Europe on the 8th of May 1945. Massive celebrations took place in Britain up and down the country. This day is still commemorated as a reminder of those who died during the Second World War. After the First World War, a war memorial was built inside Kershaw Abbey and the names of those men from the town are inscribed in it. It was unveiled by the Ninth Earl of Coventry in 1921. After the Second World War, the name of the men killed in that war were also added to the war memorial. In addition, the people of the town raised a sum of money and decided to purchase a town clock to serve as a daily reminder of those who died during the Second World War. <coughs> There is also a cross of sacrifice in Pershaw Cemetery where 72 men are buried who died in the two world wars. 42 of these were Canadian. Many were airmen based at RAF Pershaw in Rock Morton. Every year on Armistice Day, veterans and civic guests attend a special service of remembrance there at 11 a.m. Since Christmas 1945, the youth of Pershaw have laid a wreath on each of the war graves on the last Sunday before Christmas. In 2005, Persia held a VE60 parade and open air service to mark the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. Money left over from the public subscription was used to make a road for the Mayor of Persia to wear. This is dedicated to those who died during the Second World War. In 2011, Persia Royal Naval Association paid £8,000 to create this commemorative garden which is dedicated to everybody who served in our armed forces. It was opened on the 8th of May 2011 and on the 67th anniversary of VE Day. The Royal British Legion was set up in 1921 and they are responsible for organising remembrance services. The Royal British Legion pays out £1.8 million pounds a week in welfare. The Royal British Legion raises money to look after the families of people who serve in our armed forces. They do this by selling poppies and this is called the Poppy Appeal. We wear a poppy to remember those who have died during wars. 
around 55 million died in the Second World War and 37 million in the First World War. The poppies are made in the poppy factory in London, which was opened in 1922. They make around 36 million poppies each year. In 1918, an American lady called Monica Michael campaigned to get people to wear poppies to honor those who died during the Great War. Britain adopted them in 1921 as their emblem for a emblem. The United Nations was set up in 1945 and have been running ever since to help prevent another world war from happening. However, since the, world, the Second World War there have been many small wars and people have still been killed today. We need to remember that not only those who have died, but also the horror and suffering that the war brings to help keep peace in the world. We will now have the laying of the wreaths. And lastly, a wreath from the Royal Naval Association. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that many were willing to give their lives that we might be free. Free to serve you and to serve each other. Help us now as we remember those who gave their lives. Those who still suffer from the result of wars. Help us to work together for the peace of the whole world. And this we ask for the sake of the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning we will remember them.
When you go home, tell them of us and say, for their tomorrow we gave our today. On all the oceans, white caps flow. There are no crosses, row on row. But you who sleep beneath the sea can rest in peace, your country's brave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this isn't a normal procedure, but you have all been so fantastic today, especially the uh, readers and replayers that stepped in at the last minute, um, but all of you um, paid your respects marvellously, and I think we should give them a round of applause. to each and every one of you that have um, come and taken part in this service. I hope that you take your service sheet home with you and you keep it and you show your parents and that you remember and you look out for the town clock and you look out for the war memorial in the Abbey and uh, next time you'll know exactly why they're there and, and what they're there for. So um, thank you ever so much for everyone who's taken part. Thank you.